Today's video is going to cover the third app in my whiteboard series for iPad, which is the Microsoft Whiteboard app. This is one I didn't check out for quite a while, but after playing around with the other two apps, I really found I gravitated towards this one because it does, for me, what I really need to do. I do a lot of writing of music rhythms, note names, and things like that, and I need to be able to erase quickly and have them on my music sheet note background. And this app, for me, just does everything I need to do and does it quickly and does it well. Again, you need to find the best one that works for you. But for me, the Microsoft Whiteboard app has been the one for me to go to. The app is free, so there is no cost for the app. The only thing is you just need to have a Microsoft account so that you can log in with it. Now, the Microsoft Whiteboard app doesn't quite have all the features that you find in the Explain Everything app, and it has a few more features than the Jamboard app. But that's the nice thing. There's such a great selection of apps out there. You can find the one that works best for you and your environment and what you need to do with it, and you can go with it. This video is just to kind of show you the, the basics of some of the three most popular Whiteboard apps doesn't mean these are the only three. And as always, if you have a suggestion on an app I haven't covered yet, please leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to check it out and would love to check it out. I'm always looking for new apps to add to my arsenal or be able to share out with all of you and our other staff members at school. Before we dig in though, please, please help support my channel and hit that subscribe button right down below there. You'll do me a huge favor in supporting my channel, along with being able to stay up to date with all these latest video tutorials that I'm doing. Otherwise, let's jump right into the Microsoft Whiteboard app. So when you get to your main splash screen, the first time you open the app, it's going to ask you to log in with your Microsoft account, whether you have a Microsoft Work or School account or a personal Outlook account. You can go create one for free and it'll allow you to get right in. But once you get here, it'll show you all your saved whiteboards. So you can either tap on one to open it up or hit tap on Create New Whiteboard. When you get into the interface, it's going to look very similar to all the other whiteboard apps. But you're going to notice it's got a few less features than the Explain Everything, but a few more features than the Jamboard app. What I like with this one is it allows you to have multiple pen tools across the bottom so you can kind of pre-configure a couple different options so you can quickly jump between them. So for the navigation, you got the back button on the top left that will save your current whiteboard and boot you back to your main screen. Then on the top right, you've got the sharing link so you can share it out with others. You've got your account link, so you can either just sign out. Then you got the three line menu that we call the hamburger menu. If you tap on that, you can have your pen active, which is your Apple Pencil. You can do ink to shape, where it's when you draw a shape. You can ink to a table. You can create your tables using it. Object snapping, you can export it as a PDF file or an image. You can change your background, the toolbar location. You can clear your entire canvas, and it's got some accessibility options. So across the bottom, we'll start with the bottom left, so you got your pen tools. And if you tap on each pen, you'll select it. And if you tap again when it's selected, it gives you four different thicknesses. So in Explain Everything, you had eight different thicknesses. In Jamboard, you basically had two. So again, this is, as I said, is that very in the middle. You have a ton of different colors that you can select. So let's say I want this tool to always be black. Tap off of it. Let's say the next pen, I want it to be quite a bit thicker and I want it to be yellow. The next pen, tap on it again. Let's say I want that to be more of a cyan and I don't want it to be too, too thick. We'll keep that one purple. We've got a nice rainbow one. Let's make that super thick. And then we've got this last one. Let's do like a red and keep that a little thinner. So now I can quickly jump between these pens and you'll see it'll carry over the different thickness levels which is really handy so if you want to have it's like having what one two three four five six pens ready to go at your discretion when you need them instead of having to sit there and tap on the pencil tap again select the color select the thickness you can have a bunch of them just ready to go right away the next is your highlighter tool so again if you have a document pulled up you can highlight it and if you tap on it again, you can again choose its thickness, and then you can choose its color. The eraser tool, 
you've got two options. If you just tap on the eraser once, you can just erase. And what's really neat about this is you'll see as I swipe slowly, the circle stays kind of small. But if I wiggle it back and forth really quick, the circle gets really big. So if you need to erase a lot of stuff fast, it's super quick and easy. Just wiggle your pencil back and forth really quickly on the screen or your finger and boom, everything is gone really, really fast. Or if you go slowly, it'll erase it a little more fine tuned. But the other thing you can do, let me just again get all these markings back. And if I don't want to erase just one at a time, let's say I want to clear all the writings and everything on the screen. Once you have the eraser tool selected, tap it again and you can clear the canvas and boom, everything is gone. You have the ruler tool, just like you do in the other apps. You can take two fingers and you can move it around with one finger, take two fingers and spin it and rotate it. And I can select my pen tool and if I start writing near one of the lines, and then take my fingers and rotate. It'll get you those perfect angles and it'll give you the degree of all those angles. So as a math teacher, if you really want to get those exact measurements, so when you're drawing something out, so everything is precise, it'll allow you to get all those angles exactly as you want them. So it's kind of a neat little feature. To get rid of it, you just tap on the ruler again and it's gone. So you've got the lasso tool, allows you to draw around a selection and you'll see it highlights the different things I've done. So I can either move the whole thing around or I can tap on one part of it and I can copy it, I can cut it. And then I can also paste it. It allows you to do all those different options. Let's say I just want to delete that whole thing. Delete that whole thing, everything's gone. So the next option you have is the text tool. So you can use the scribble feature, which is a new feature on iPad. I am just testing this out. So you can use the actual scribble feature or along the bottom you can tap on the keyboard and just start typing. You can enter down, and then you can either cancel and it'll back you out of this and won't save it. If you hit done, it'll actually place the text inside of what you're doing. And then you can zoom in and out and all those things. To delete, you can just hit clear canvas. It, it's not going to let you actually erase it because it doesn't want to make sure you accidentally do it. So you have to clear the canvas in order to get rid of that. You can do sticky notes. And I can just start writing as a sticky note. And then I can hit done. And now it's got a sticky note right within all this. And if I hold my finger on it, you'll see that it's selected. I can, oops, if I hold my finger on it and tap on that bottom right hand, I can rotate it around, I can resize it put it level, I can give it a thumbs up, remove it, I can change its background color of the sticky note, I can duplicate it, I can cut part of it, and I can do delete. The next one is the image. So if I tap on the image, I can either import from my library, so my iPad Photos app, or I can use my camera. So if you wanted that document camera type of effect, tap on camera, Get it on a couple of my devices here, take the photo, say use photo, and then I can use my fingers to pinch in, select a pen tool, and say, well, look at that feature right there, see that knob, there's that, and then I can move it around. So it kind of gives you that document camera. So if you have a document that you quickly want to show to your kids that you have printed out, you can put your camera, tap on the image icon, hold the iPad over the photo, snap the photo, and then the photo will show up and you can use your pen tool really quickly to start writing on it. Really, really quick and easy. So let's again clear the canvas. Then we've got this little plus tool. From here we can paste things. You can do note grids to show an example. 
I just had it off the screen. So you can have multiple notes. You can do lists. Follow up lists. And you can do templates. So they have some basic templates that they use. So let's say you're doing some project planning. So it inserts all that. I found it's a little tough to work with, but if it's something that's really helpful for you, you can play around with it and get comfortable with it, and I'm sure you can be really quick in how you use it. So that's under the plus button. Then you have the undo and the redo button. So that is the Microsoft Whiteboard app. Very quick and easy, a little more feature rich than what you saw in Jamboard, but not quite as many features as you see in Explain Everything. And when I'm done, just back right out, and you'll notice now that what I was doing is now saved. And you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, there's those three little dots. If I tap on that, I can delete it, I can export it, or I can invite people to also view it and edit that document. I hope you found this video helpful in showing off the Microsoft Whiteboard app. So at this point, we've covered three different Whiteboard apps. We've covered the Google Jamboard, the Explain Everything, and with this video, the Microsoft Whiteboard app. So between those three, I hope one of those will really help you in your teaching in the classroom or presentations that you do in your business or just whatever you might need a Whiteboard app for. I just hope one of these three kind of gets you going in the right direction. As always, if you have any further questions on any of these Whiteboard apps or even have a suggestion of another one, please leave a comment right below. And while you're down there, hit that like button so you can show your support for my videos. And also while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest video tutorials. And it also helps support my channel, which I really, really do appreciate. Otherwise, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.